a few students <clears throat> ask me about this question so I'm creating this short video uh, for this question it's about how to read a frequency uh, polygon uh, just note in a frequency polygon the first dot is where at the beginning of the first bar and the last dot is the ending of the last bar and the remaining dots as you can see uh, there are the midpoints of the bars in the uh, histogram so um, let's see what the first question uh, is what is the class width how many classes are represented uh, in the graph so the class width the class width is the difference between the second dot and the next one or the third and the fourth you can see the difference is between 5 and 15 is 10 so then that uh, should uh, be the class width so you would just enter the answer as 10 and we go to the next question see well done how many classes are there as I said aside from the first and the last dot each dot represent the midpoint of a bar of the uh, bar or the column in the histogram so just count how many dots are there but don't count the first and the last so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and put that as an answer now what is the midpoint let's see which one I don't see it I'll close it uh, what is the midpoint of the second class what's the lower and the upper limit of the second class okay let's bring it back up okay second class second class you just go to the second uh, point don't count the first one so you just go one and then two okay the midpoint is 15 because I said those dots represent you know the midpoint of the bar so that would be 15 okay now what is the lower class limit the lower class limit is the beginning value of the class and the upper class limit is the ending value since the class width is 10 here is how you figure out the beginning of the uh, first class and the ending of the first class you take half of 10 and divided by 2 so the class width is 10 divided by 2 is 5 so you take 15 and then minus 5 that will give you the lower class limit so that's 10 and then you can take 15 plus 5 that will give you 20 so actually technically speaking our class goes from 10 to 20 but if you count the values from 10 to 20 you're gonna get 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, 20, which is 11 values, but we know the class width is 10. So here's how we do it. We go 15 minus 5 is 10, and then 15 plus 5 is 20, but we subtract 1 from the upper class limit, so we make it 19. So it's going to be 10 to 19. okay that's a click so for example if you do a different exercise and he asks you for the lower class limit of the class that has a midpoint of 55 so you do 55 minus 5 is 50 and then 55 plus 5 is 60 but subtract 1 from 60 you make it 59 so one less always from the upper class limit okay let's see what the next question is uh, what is the midpoint of the last class? What are the lower and the upper class limit? Okay, no problem. Last class, you have to take not the last dot. We don't count the last dot. It's the dot before the last. So it's 95. 95, this is the midpoint. And if you want to find the lower class limit, 95 minus 5 is 90. And 95 plus 9, 5 is 100, but subtract 1 from 100. So let's write the answers. So it's 95. And then 
the lower class limit as I said is 90 but the second one is 99 which age group has the uh, highest population okay the highest population is the group that has the highest point here uh, so this is then going to be this one which is 35 but if you want to figure out the class of 35 subtract 5 that will give you 30 and then add 5 will give you 40 but subtract 1 will be 39 so it's 30 to 39 and that should uh, conclude the question